WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup with the 4 p.m. market update. Uh, just filling in for Tom today. He will be back tomorrow. Now, let's see where we're at currently. The ES is right under that 5,100 level, trading at 5,091 at market close, just off about 0.25%. Uh, the Russell off about 0.45%, basically a sideways day, to be honest. Uh, gold finishing just around 24.06. Uh, we can take a look at Bank of America, even though this is a short segment, um, but they messed up. The Q1 profits uh, fall about 18%. Uh, revenue was up, I believe. No, it wasn't. I think I'm thinking of something else. Anyways, let's move to, I'll just plug in the ticker here. Uh, w one of the big things that hit them, interestingly enough, were the interest rates. And sometimes you can have it where banks do a lot better with higher interest rates, right? Um, however, one of the major things that they fell to, which is kind of strange, is that they bought a ton of bonds during the pandemic. And obviously, with the increased rates, you have a decrease in the in the price of the bonds. Um, so anyways, that, that hit them really hard. They're paying more on deposits. Um, the bank's net interest yield was about uh, dropped to excuse me from 2.2 percent uh, to 1.99 percent. PNC also fell uh, 21 uh, percent amid weaker interest income. And then United Healthcare, surprisingly, you know, I covered them a while ago when a ransomware group actually broke in uh, to their system, and surprisingly, they actually did okay. Uh, this was ticking the Dow up quite a bit uh, as well. They were speaking a little bit about it, and I still obviously, you know, cyber stuff is a, is a major issue. I wanted to say here, they, so check this, the, the total cost tied to the cyber attack and recovery amounted to 74 cents per share in the quarter. About two thirds of that, or 49 cents, was direct response costs that the company excluded from adjusted earnings. Um, which is pretty interesting to see that um, kind of quantified in a major way, right? Uh, you know, a lot of times we just hear data is exfiltrated or in this circumstance, the system was locked down because of ransomware. And we're not really sure kind of how that ties in, um, you know, to loss in money, uh, but there we have it. So folks, thank you so much for joining me. Um, we have Basil on at 10. I believe I'll be on at nine. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. And then we have Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then Tom O'Brien at three o'clock. I hope you have a great rest of your day.